Hello guys, this is Avinash and you are watching Everything Matlaji. So friends, in the previous lectures we have completed the series of ferrous extraction that is iron making and steel making. We have briefly discussed about both these topics. Now on your request I will be uh, discussing about few of the important metal extraction processes. Okay, so in this video we will start with magnesium. It is extraction of magnesium okay so usually one thing that you have to remember in the point of these extractions is the important ores okay ores are nothing but the minerals from which the metal can be economically extracted okay so we have to remember the important ores of each metal so for magnesium the important ores are magnesite that is mgco3 dolomite that is mgco3.caco3 and brucite brucite is nothing but the hydroxide mgh twice so these are the important ores magnesite dolomite and brucite okay so from these three ores usually magnesite and dolomite are uh, used in the economical practices okay we will see what are the different methods also so usually these are the important ores of magnesium now why we have to extract this magnesium what are the different applications what are the important properties of magnesium we will be briefly discussing okay so if you remember we discussed about desulfurizing okay so in that magnesium magnesium granules are used as an important desulfurizing agent okay or desulfurization reagent okay so that's that means even in steel making in secondary steel making also this magnesium is used that's why it is one of the major uh, application of magnesium you can say moreover you can also modify the green structure for example the graphite flakes that are present in the cast iron are modified into nodular cast iron that means the gray cast iron is converted is modified into nodular cast iron with the help of magnesium that means magnesium is acting as a grain refiner or modifier that means briefly we'll uh, i'll jot down the different applications the first one is the desulfurization next is modifier modifier is nothing but the grain refiner okay and uh, for example this magnesium also forms important alloying element that means magnesium reacts with some other important metals to form alloys for example magnesium aluminum alloys okay magnesium aluminum alloys are famous because this imparts strength as well as corrosion resistance this magnesium imparts corrosion resistance to the alloy so these are some of the important properties or important applications of magnesium so now we'll discuss how this magnesium is extracted we'll discuss about the different types of methods and also we'll see what is the most economical way to do this so usually there are two ways so this extraction can be done in two different manners first one is the carbothermic reduction the carbothermic reduction and the other type is the metallothermic reduction so these are the two different ways or two different methods of extracting magnesium so usually from the name itself we can say carbothermic reduction is nothing but carbon is used as a reducing agent okay carbon is usually used okay that means it reacts with mgo magnesium oxide is reacted with carbon at a very high temperature because carbon can reduce all the 
uh, elements or all the different metals at very high temperatures. So to name generally it should be greater than 1800 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is greater than 1800 degrees Celsius only, carbon can be used as the uh, reducing agent. So it gives magnesium less carbon monoxide. Okay. So generally here the carbon monoxide is a gas and magnesium is also a gas because it vaporizes at this high temperature so this magnesium oxide granules or solid react with carbon to form magnesium vapors okay so again this magnesium vapors are condensed in order to obtain magnesium okay so this generally this temperature can be reduced by applying some vacuum to decrease this temperature vacuum can be used but it is not that cost effective producing magnesium under vacuum is very expensive so now we will discuss so this is about the carbothermic reduction now we will discuss about the metallothermic reduction so the same thing but the reducing agent here it is carbon here the reducing agent such as aluminium or other metals which can reduce can be used as reducing agent okay so usually aluminium or calcium carbide is utilized as reducing agent and here the temperature will be at about 1200 degrees celsius okay so the same thing 3 mgo plus meal will be gives rise to 3 plus 3 mg okay and the temperature is about 1200 degrees celsius that means the carbon is replaced by one more metal okay in the same way this aluminium if aluminium is not used calcium carbide can also be used as reducing agent okay so these are the basic types of extraction of these methods okay now we'll see what is the most economic way what is the most economic way to extract this magnesium Okay, the most economic way is the Pidgeon process. Okay, the most economic method to extract the magnesium is the Pidgeon process. So, this is the uh, most commercially used practice also. So, in this process, usually ferrosilicon is used. okay as compared to carbon or aluminum ferrosilicon is cheap okay and also it is the cheapest form of silicon so in this pigeon process calcine dolomite that means dolomite is calcined that means it is undergoing calcination process calcination is nothing but heating okay heating in the absence of air or oxygen that is nothing but calcination and it is usually done in rotary cans. So, this calcined dolomite along with this ferrosilicon is briquated. What is this briquated? Briquated means compressed together. Okay. So, here the calcium, sorry, the calcined dolomite along with the powdered ferrosilicon is briquated. That means it is compressed under a vacuum of under a vacuum of about 0 0.1 mm Hg that means there is almost no pressure that's why we call it vacuum so under vacuum the powdered ferrosilicon is briquated along with this calcine dolomite okay and what happens there will be some reactions taking place okay we'll see about the mechanism in a bit so this is the brief of what happens in this pigeon process okay and usually it is done at about temperature of 1100 to 1200 degrees celsius and uh, it is done in a externally heated retort okay it is done in the externally heated retort that means as i already said the reaction if you see this is the calcine dolomite solid it reacts with ferrosilicon Okay, it is also solid. It gives 
टू एम जी वेपर प्लस कैल्शियम सिलिकेट्स एंड सम अमाउंट ऑफ आयरन आल्सो सो दिस इज द रिएक्शन ओके दिस इज द रिएक्शन दैट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द पिजियन प्रोसेस दैट मींस द कैल्साइन डॉलमाइट इज रिक्वेटेड अलोंग विद द एफ और फेरोसिलिकन टू प्रोड्यूस कैल्शियस वेपर्स ओके सो दिस is about the pigeon process if you see the mechanism you see the different steps if you see the mechanism or the different steps that is involved the first one the initial reaction will be taking place between the cao and fesi okay that means the CO is present in the dolomite calcium dolomite so there will be a reaction taking place between these two okay to form a calcium iron silicon alloy okay and this is a liquid and why this is liquid because this reaction is exothermic okay and obviously the temperature will be about 1100 degrees because that is the temperature we used okay so this reaction take place to form calcium iron silicon alloy and then in the next step what happens is this calcium fesi alloy reacts with ngo okay so this calcium iron si alloy reacts with mgo to form gaseous magnesium so this is the mechanism of pigeon process okay so this is a brief about the extraction of the ignition and there is one more process that is nothing but the douse process okay through douse process also actually this magnesium can be utilized this douse process uses sea water okay that means obviously we know in sea water we have uh, chlorides that is nothing but sodium chloride magnesium chloride those are salts okay so and from the mgcl2 present in the sea water this magnesium is extracted and that is douse process okay so usually it is important and the most economical process is pigeon that's why i have explained that but remember douse process is a process of extraction of magnesium only but through from the sea water okay so this is about the extraction of magnesium and i'm i'll be doing the same for different metals like aluminum copper lead and zinc also so please stay tuned to everything metallurgy do hit the like button it motivates me a lot and also share this video to all the gate metallurgy aspirants thank you guys thanks for watching